recently um, I've been thinking about what do I want 2021 to represent for me? And, you know, I think about these things almost every year. What do I want this year to represent? How do I want to grow? How do I want to change? How do I want to look more like God? And I always come back to the same thing. I want to grow in my faith, regardless of the circumstances of my life, regardless of what's going on in the world, regardless of anything else that I could possibly imagine happening. And that's always, I always come back to that every single year. So recently, as I was reading Deuteronomy, I came across this passage, and it was a long passage, but I'm going to just read a little small portion for you. It says, the land that you are going over to possess is a land of hills and valleys, a land that you're, the Lord your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord your God are always upon it from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. I read this and I had tons of comfort from it. First of all, it says that <clears throat> the eyes of the Lord our God are with us and on us throughout everything we do. And so um, I was really encouraged by that. Now this is passage is talking about Israel coming out of Egypt and traveling to Canaan and going there, you know, by foot and and traveling there. And so it's it's really focusing on the Israelites, but the things that I picked up for me, I want to share with you. I saw three things that I could hold on to and find great comfort in. First of all, this land has hills and valleys. Well, isn't that true? Everything we go through, everything we face, we find that there are hills and valleys. And, you know, when we're on the top of the hill, we feel victorious and we feel like we have conquered it and we're doing great. And then sometimes at the top of the hill, the next day we face a valley. It Our days change from day to day. And the thing is, is that when we're on top of the hill, we need to be strengthening ourselves for when we hit that valley. I know we're not even two weeks into the new year and Randy and I have already encountered a valley. So how do you encounter valleys? Well, you need to be strengthened when it's good. You need to be strengthened in those mountaintop times. You need to be strengthened even in the flat and even times so that when the valley hits, you're okay because you're so strong in your faith in God. And, and I find that that's really, really the truth. The second thing I see is that God cares for the land. And so if God cares for the land, the land that we're traveling through and where we're going to, if he cares for the land, how much more does he care about you and I? And, you know, we live in this uncertain time where there has been so much uncertainty, even in our country, even in our everyday lives that we have not expected. And so you look at that, you look at that great Ban of the whole country thing and then bring it down to even your own personal life and what you personally, those hills and valleys that you personally face. If God cares for the land, you know he cares for you and I. He cares about what happens with you and I. And he cares about the way that we respond to it. He cares about the way that we accept it. And he loves us and he will be with us throughout these times. And that is something that we can really rejoice in. And then the third thing we see here is that he sees everything from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. So it's like we, we are in January. All we're seeing is what's happening in January right now. We don't know what's going to be happening in December of 2021. We have no idea. But today we can tr rejoice and rest in the fact that Jesus does know. He knows what this whole year is going to bring to us. This whole year is going to, how it's going to affect us. And so I think, you know, in that we can rest and we can find the peace that we so desperately need. And so I want to ask you to think about how are you spending your time? What are you investing in? You know, as you read further along here, it says to love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. And really, that's what we're called to do. We're just called to love God. 
And it, it doesn't matter where we go or what we face, we are called to love God. And when we do that, then when those hard times, we come upon those hard times or those valleys, we're able to better face them, we're able to better walk through them because we have this strong faith in, in God and who we trust and who we love. And so I wanna encourage you to think about that. Think about how strong are you investing? How deep are you going with God? How much are you depending on him on a day-to-day -day basis? I, I really wanna encourage you to think about that. The Apostle Paul instructed his um, friend and his mentor, Timothy, with these words, train yourself for godliness, for while bodily training is for some value, godliness is value in every way, as it holds the promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Training ourselves in godliness will benefit us all the way across the board in every way. And so we really want to think about how can we train ourselves for godliness? How do we go about growing deeper with God, going deeper with God, and really putting our full trust and our rest in Him and not holding on to what we can handle, what we can control, because we can't control anything. And what we handle will, de will be determined on how much we trust. So let me encourage you this year to think about your relationship with God and how you can go deeper in that and how you can know him better and how you can know him more intimately. I, I b believe with all my heart that if this is what you focus on, you will find peace in this year. God will grant you peace even in the turbulent times. Thank <laughs> you.